This is kind of a special keyboard. This is the Moog Liberation, which is something they made, I think, in the 70s. Uh, and this one is rare. Well, the, they made less white than they did black, so it's rare from that perspective. But this was owned by James Brown, and uh, I was able to pick it up at uh, an auction of his stuff at Christie's a few years ago. So the Godfather actually played this, and I have a, a picture of him playing it too, which is kind of cool. Mainly, we use this for Frankenstein when we play that. has a few other sounds. Uh, it's monophonic, which means that it can only play one note at a time. It will not play chords. Uh, and that is the same for the Little Fatty as well. That's also a monophonic synthesizer as opposed to my Yamaha CS60, which is polyphonic and can play, uh, that, that can play up to 10 notes at a time. Um, so this is kind of a prize and uh, something we don't take out too often. But for this interview, we took it out. We're going to finish up over here at the theremin. Uh, this is my Big Briar theremin. This is a walnut cabinet, um, hand built and checked out by Bob Moog himself. Uh, I play this with a little bit of a delay. Uh, for those of you who are not familiar with the theremin, it's an instrument that you play without touching. Uh, this knob, or this, this bar, is controlling the, uh, the pitch, so the further away I am, the, uh, the lower the pitch will be and the closer I am, the higher the pitch will be. This bar over here controls the volume, so as I lift my hand it will get louder and all the way to off. So this is what, this is what it will sound like. Um, and I tend to play this one with a delay to get some cool, weird Zeppelin-esque effects on it. If you've ever seen Song Remains the Same, this may be familiar to you. It's very difficult to play. Uh, it reacts to your body mass, not just your hands, but your entire mass. You, you basically have to remain very still. If you, if, I use it more as an effect as opposed to really be trying to play melodies. And I usually only take it out during kind of crazy jams, but it is something that, that requires perfect stillness if you want to. If you want to try and get some kind of an accurate pitch on it. It's not easy. Um, and that's the theremin. And there are four different tones that I can get on this. Subtly different tones. And by uh, adjusting the delay, I can also create some other effects as well. Just by adjusting the delay time and the amount of feedback that comes out of it, I can get a kind of feedback and...
get little loops that happen within itself. Mm-hmm. And that concludes the demonstration of the theremin. Hope you've enjoyed the tour of my rig. Hope you enjoy the show. Thanks.